guys, welcome back to Gaining with Truth. Thanks so much for joining us this afternoon as we continue our building season. So this week we're learning about structure. We started talking about order, but right after God brought the earth to order, he decided to create a structure for this earth. And Genesis chapter 1 verses 11 to 18 actually outlines the structure he has for us. And it says, And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself, upon the earth, and it was so. And the earth brought forth grass, and herb yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit whose seed was in itself after his kind, and God saw that it was good, and the evening and the morning were the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons, and for days and years, and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth, and it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also, and God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth, and to rule over the day and the night, and to divide the light from darkness. And God saw it was good. So I read all of these verses, and most of it talks about the structure that God decided to place within the earth. So the whole aspect of God setting trees in motion so that it can go on to create this cycle where when we get the fruit to eat, we can replant it and it can grow for itself with the sunlight, with water, with all the things necessary for trees to grow. And so too, as we are in our building season, God has taken us through a journey. He has taken us and taught us some things that are necessary for us to continue to build. And so too, as God set structure in the earth so that he is no longer needed to physically do these things within the earth, he has placed us within the earth so that we can care for the garden, so that we can keep it. Because even in the book of Genesis, it said that God placed Adam and Eve in the east of the garden so that they can care for it and so that they can keep it. And so too, that is an example of one of the reasons why you and I are placed here. So whatever God has put in order and structure upon the earth, we have a responsibility to care for it and to keep it. We are merely stewards in this earth. God has designed this earth for us to steward our destiny. He has the blueprint of what we should build, but when we get the information of what we should build, we have a responsibility to now set forth a structure in order so that it can be sustained. We don't have to continue doing the same things over and over again. We have to set a structure so that whatever it is, be it a business, be it children, whatever it is, God has given us instruction to create a structure. So if we have a business, we don't have to work in that business every day. We have to build the proper structure and allow our business to work for us. If we have children, we don't have to instruct these children every day. We just have to instruct them and ensure that they heed the instruction so that going forward they are able to follow the instructions. We don't have to continue doing the same things over and over again because we are in our building season and part of building means you move from one aspect to the other. So every time God put a structure in order, he said it was good. And so too, while we are in our building season, we have a responsibility to not just build a structure, but maintain 
that structure because it is that structure that the next generation will build upon, will improve, will utilize in order to move forward into their destiny. Ezekiel chapter 43 verse 11 says, If they are ashamed of all that they had done, make known to them the design of the house, its structure, its exits, its entrances, all its design, all its statutes, and all its laws, and write it in their sight so that they may observe its whole design and all its statutes to do them. So this is a scripture that is used for God to speak to the children of Israel, to let them know, hey, I have this for you, but you have to actually be ashamed of what you did and come back to repentance, and then I will show you my plan. So here God is telling Ezekiel, show them the design. So the design is the pictorial representation of God's plan for your life. And right after God told Ezekiel, show them the design, he told him, the first thing you must pay attention to is its structure. So it's very important for us to have a structure. We can't be all over the place. We can't keep going back and forth. We can't afford to just let life happen to us. And God did not want or intend that for us. That is why he put a structure in the earth. You know what it's like if you wake up one morning and your whole house is the sea all around and then the next morning there's earthquakes all around you and the next morning there's just snow falling all over around your house. That is not how God intend for us to be. He did not intend for us to be all over the place like that. That is why he created times and seasons. That is why he created a structure in life so that we know what we are about. We know when certain things will happen. We know when different seasons are happening to us. We know when we are to walk into different seasons. And so too, when we are in our building season, when God has brought us to our building season and he has laid the foundation, the thing that comes next is the pillars, is the walls, is the roofing. Everything plays a part, but we have to ensure that we have the right structure. And I'm encouraging you today, examine your own life, see where things are see where you are in your own life and don't allow life to just happen to you but build a structure and don't just build it maintain it if you have built a structure for your life re-examine it and maintain this structure so that you will not fall prey to the things of the enemy you will not fall away you will not miss out on the things that God have for you but instead you will be able to have your structure in place and be able to move forward. God wants us to be stable. He wants us to have structure in our lives. He wants us to move forward in life. But we can't do that without the proper structure in place. Thank you so much for joining us today. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.